It is that time of year when a lot of people look around their houses and say, where did all this stuff come from? Especially after Christmas, many of us have more than we need, and it's a great time to donate some of your stuff. But what makes a good donation? very busy as far as donation goes. A lot of people think Goodwill when it's time for spring cleaning, and that's great, but they want stuff you no longer use, not stuff that belongs in the trash. We really are looking for high quality stuff. We don't want just the junk. Uh, we will recycle most everything that we can't sell, uh, but yeah, high quality. If you're donating clothes, no holes or stains, and wash them first. Furniture should be functional, but a stain might be okay since it can be reupholstered, and a little dog hair doesn't hurt. Stores in Denver also want your computers and electronics. In fact, Goodwill Denver is the only one in the country that's an R2 certified electronics recycler. We have a good electronics department, and these folks are specifically trained to wipe all the data off of your old computer so you don't have to worry about any of your old uh, personal information being on it. One thing most thrift stores have strict rules about, baby items. Goodwill cannot accept anything that holds a child. No swings, cribs, strollers, high chairs. They simply can't keep track of all the possible safety recalls. But toys, toys make great donations. Sadly, this is my husband's. Goodwill will take just about anything your generous kids are willing to part with. Couldn't we give something to another kid maybe? One of the dolls? Or maybe not. It's yeah, hard no. to give it away, isn't it? Uh, when they're sleeping, I will sneak that yeah, away Yeah, you'll take from that them. away. You know, yeah. thrift shops are great if you're looking for camping supplies. Like pots, pans, nice. coffee pots, mugs. You can save a bundle. Yeah, and, and, pe and people give away good condition yeah, items. You, yeah, you can build a great uh, camping We camp. have some more tips on the Denver, denverchannel.com as well.